Open Pilot uh, 0.6.3 in the RAV4 Hybrid is absolutely amazing. Uh, there's this new steering controller for the RAV4 specifically currently, and I'm sure it might roll out to other Toyotas if it proves to be uh, as good of an improvement as it is for the RAV4, but it really smooths out all those jerks in the steering wheel and makes it feel really smooth no matter what road it's on. Uh, so right now we're actually on a pretty residential road here. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the steering wheel is just really smooth. Uh, it's, it's as smooth as my Civic now, but with the torque of a Toyota, it's really impressive stuff. Um, you we're just catching up to a car in front here. But yeah, the wheel itself is just, there's no more jerking like whatsoever. It's really confident. It's even more confident on highways. I actually don't have any footage of that currently. Um, but we were going pretty fast. So like imagine that kind of performance on a highway as well. Uh, but yeah, just looking at the wheel here, it's so much more smooth and deliberate about what it's doing And it just overall turns out to be really impressive like I already thought the RAV4 was doing pretty well uh, But yeah after this change, I think it's Absolutely amazing um, I'm really happy about this. There's just some weird lane lines over here. So I'm just gonna take control during those portions, but um Here's a pretty sharp turn to the left here. It was actually centered that entire time very well, and there's really no jerkiness. Oh, it's a roundabout here, so I'm going to take over. We're back engaged. It's looking super well, like we are dead center in the lane. And not only that, but it's also it's just so smooth, it's crazy. Like, it's really hard to explain, but if people had a RAV4 before or have a Toyota uh, with open pilot, they'll know what I mean, where it's a little bit jerky. Unless you're on one of the newer uh, TSS P2.0 cars, such as the 2020 Corolla. That car actually has pretty good steering like this already but this change gave it to uh, older cars, like this 2018 RAV4 Hybrid. So yeah, I haven't had to do anything on this road, and it's super awesome. I probably wouldn't have had to do anything on this road before, but the steering is now locked in, and it's also really locked in on highways, so if you ever are on a highway with open pilot, this feels as good as the Civic felt. And the, the Civic, for those who don't know what that feels like, it just feels really confident with how it's steering. And this car now feels that confident. So 0.6.3 is a huge step forward yet again for the RAV4. Can't believe all these changes. I didn't even get to cover 0.6.2 on the channel, uh, but that made, uh, the radar tracking a lot more accurate because the radar actually is checking where the path of open pilot is rather than the path of the steering wheel angle so that means it'll track uh, a car through the entire turn really nice and that is also very beneficial on this car because this car actually didn't have the best calibrated radar before it was a little bit jumpy to try to jump to the cars in the wrong lane but with that change to the way the radar was calculated that actually fixed that entirely as well so this car is now driving infinitely better than it once did. I just couldn't be any more happy with this system right now. It really can't get much better than this. I mean, it's doing some crazy roads with no problem. It's just highway flawlessly. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys this video to show how happy I am with op Open Pilot uh, 0 0.6.3. Super big step up for the RAV4 users specifically, and I'm sure this uh, way of steering will come to other cars as well. I'm quickly gonna run down some of the other changes of OpenPilot 0.6.3. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, so first of all, there's alert sounds that come from the Eon now rather than coming from the car, uh, which is cool. It means all Eons will have the same sound effects. Uh, driver monitoring is much improved. It actually can track your eyes now, which is pretty cool considering uh, I, I didn't think that was possible with this kind of camera that's on the Eons. Also, of course, a new driving model that ends up doing better on roads without lane lines. And also, there's improved lane positioning with wide lanes and exits, which is really nice. Uh, it actually doesn't really take 
any exits anymore when I was using it on the highway. And a really nice thing for Honda users is it will slow down for turns using the driving model, which means when you're coming down the road and it sees a turn up ahead, the car will slow down maybe 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that really helps with the torque limit of Hondas. Because uh, I'll be going 75, it'll reduce me to 65 so I can actually make some more turns I wouldn't be able to make before. So yeah, that's OpenPilot 0.6.3, yet another amazing version of OpenPilot. Uh, really great work to the Kama team, you guys are doing amazing lately. I'm loving all these updates, and I hope you guys are enjoying the OpenPilot videos. The next video is going to be in the Honda Civic, and probably in a week or so, so look forward to that. See you guys in the next video. Bye!